Hello friends, welcome. This is part 11 of Shep's Spiritual Insights. In this part I'm going to talk about past lives and predestined life plans and what effects they may or may not have upon this lifetime. Well, uh, the thing is with uh, reincarnation from my experience of what I've seen, what I understand, is that I have seen insight into the spirit realm and I've seen that the majority of spirit are still on the next plane of evolution which is a very physical plane still to all intents and purposes and that most of them trapped within the material life again going around in that circle and not that many have actually evolved. Now uh, there's pra Father God is a very practical person and he works in a very simplistic way so uh, on our first lifetime here and most of us are on our first lifetime here because within the spirit realm to be able to reincarnate you have to be a reasonably evolved being to make a mature choice that you want to and also you have to have worked off all your negativities all your karmic debt all those sort of things and shine enough light before you to be appropriate to be considered uh, making the right choice to reincarnate because of course you know, if we could all reincarnate just like that, you, you know, you could have anybody in your life. You could have a, a mass murder in your life down here as a past life, couldn't you? And you know, you might not want that, and you might not even want a reincarnated being within you. And Father God never puts anything upon anybody that they wouldn't freely and happily want. So, yeah, there's practical reasons why be, why the uh, beings in the spirit realm can't just, you know, reincarnate whenever they wish to. So you have to be a fairly evolved being to reincarnate. So the truth is, there's not that many reincarnating back to this plane at the present time. If I had to hazard a guess, and it would just be a guess, I'd say there's probably only a few million, which is a very small number upon this plane, of beings that have actually reincarnated back here. So uh, reincarnation becomes pointless. Some say I've had, uh, you know, maybe a thousand reincarnations, and that's no, not true, because uh, after a certain amount of times, re reincarnation becomes pointless. May in my mind it does, because you gain less each time. Each time you come back, the first time you double yourself, and then a third is much, and a fourth is much, and so on. So after about maybe six to ten times, it becomes completely pointless. Although some maybe have reincarnated many more times than that, the odd individual, but most just remain in the spirit realm after a certain number of... Uh, reincarnations because they can gain more by staying there they can evolve more by staying there so there's you know practical reasons why not anybody can reincarnate because it has to be within a person down here that would be happy when they go into the spirit realm to find out they have got a reincarnated uh, being within them maybe our old or group soul you could call it um, so they'd have to be happy for that and they'd also you know if they weren't happy with that, they would never have that because Father God knows what we would and would not be happy to receive. So he puts nothing upon anybody that they would not want. So uh, reincarnated beings, they get choices. You know, they do get some choices. What country they want to go to, they can't change genders. So if they're a male, they can only be male and humans are the only ones that reincarnate back here. Or if they're a female, they can only be female again. But they can go to a different country, even a Pacific village. But, uh, you know, you've got to remember that even reincarnated beings that go back in the spirit realm, they could come back straight away, but most of them spend some time in the spirit realm before they reincarnate again. But they could come back a reincarnated being almost straight away. So, But uh, some do, I guess, not many. So uh, there are people here that say, oh, my, you know, my, my uh, daughter's, oldest daughter's child died and, it, you know, I believe the new baby of my youngest daughter is that child reincarnated, which is extremely unlikely, extremely unlikely, or, you know, because the, child, the, the truth is they're a new soul and only gone to the, that baby's a new soul and only gone to the spirit realm to begin its life there and would not be evolved enough to return in that amount of time, nowhere near. So, unlikely. Um, but uh, they do say that some reincarnated beings only touch the earth and, you know, that they may be, a, you know, there's a miscarriage and they go back in the spirit realm. But most of them, most of them want to come back and, and come back for certain experiences to add to their life. 
so they can ask for a life of hardship, for instance. But that reincarnated being comes back to that new life, because we all get a new spirit every time we reincarnate. And it's the new spirit's life to lead, not the old life. Uh, spirit's life so there's no manipulation there is no predestined life plan for that new life it just lives its life and by natural events will have most of those experiences is because father god knows the future of each life upon this world and if a reincarnated being says i want to have this that and the other in my lifetime they'll just be put in the appropriate life down here that's going to have those by natural events and always would and always will. So they have no effect on the destiny of that life and no real effects on it at all, no influences. Because there's those, you know, and, uh, and some mediums and psychics that say this, and they just blurt it out, you know, and it's just uh, superstition and claptrap that somebody says, I've got a mole here. You were shot <laughs> in your last life. And they haven't probably even had a last life. It's just claptrap, rubbish. So, uh, you know, and another person says, I'm scared of fire. You were burnt at the stake as a witch, which is rubbish again. You know, and, or I'm scared of the water. You drowned. Or I've got a birthmark around my neck. You were hanged. You know, and that's just complete rubbish that they're talking, those uh, mediums and psychics that say those sort of things. It's just coming out the top of their head, you know, because they want to look good and they want to sound good and they want to make people think oh what a wise person they are but not very wise at all <laughs> so you know superstitious that's all it is and that's not good and you know truth is truth but you know that's not truth is it so anyway <clears throat> so really the past life if you did have one has no effect on this life at all not the slightest bit <laughs> the only ones that have been reincarnated that have had that uh, predestined life plan uh, is that uh, s those that have served God directly and that's only been a handful and he's just helped them to be in the right place at the right time where by natural choice and free will they chose what was right for their destiny so that's all there was still no manipulation or anything like that even within those instruments of God so yeah if you wanted to say the new life's having a predestined life plan, you could not, because it's just having what it would always naturally have had anyway. So the past life is within a life that's having all the, the predestined things that it wanted, yes. Now, there are also those that, you know, believe that that it can reincarnate in several different places at the same time, that their spirit can split into many different facets and they can be on maybe other worlds even, and several different planes of evolution at the same time, including here, and that they're living a, in, in multifaceted life, uh, gaining several experiences at the same time, and becoming more collective when they go back into the spirit realm, and each facet comes back to their life of a new life, and that is not true, because wherever you are, you're entire. If you are in the spirit realm, you are a single person, entire, and if you come upon the earth plane, your spirit cannot separate into several different fragments and be on having different experiences in different places. It comes in its entirety because you get a new spirit when you reincarnate and it, the old spirit is just dormant within you in its entirety. So you can't stay in different places or be at different places at the same time. And we cannot reincarnate onto other worlds because our spirit realm is for this world and we can only reincarnate back onto this world we cannot go to other worlds it may be our destiny in a very long time if for the most highly evolved planes in our spirit realm to one day potentially meet others from other spirit realms on the equivalent level of evolution in those planes so maybe spiritually we will meet others from other worlds eventually but that is not to worry about at this time so yeah that's the way it goes <laughs> you know so yes that past life uh that wants to reincarnate here can make choices uh about where they want to be in the world and you know certain things they can be fulfilled in their choices but really they're just coming in within within a life that has all those experiences anyway so by natural events that life always would have done whether they got a reincarnated being or not uh now the new spirit doesn't get any choices at all. It just goes to allotted life. Now, you're, uh, so Father God brought about a spark from himself of spirit. 
and he, that all life gets. And he blessed it to divide and subdivide and keep dividing and subdividing. And so it does. You know, and all the worlds of God, that those sparks of spirit, at the appropriate time when a new life comes about, whether it be a, a, gra a piece of grass, a bacteria, a person, an animal, a plant of any sort. So a new spark goes to, at the appropriate time to where every new life that comes about. So it's a lottery where your spirit actually goes to because all, all the spirit life is the same from that first spark. So you might so one spark might go to another world into an animal and another spark to another world into a humanoid and another spark to this world into a bacteria. So life is coming about all the time and the sparks of that spirit going anywhere. So your spark uh, went to you because it was at that moment your spark come to you. Whereas if your life hadn't come about at that precise moment that your spark would have gone somewhere else. It might have gone to another world or it might have gone into another life form of some sort. So, you know, that life has no predestined life plan. It comes to be a new spirit. Now, the new spark of life is given at fertilisation, when life begins, first begins. And it lives on forever from that point and goes on to the spirit realm at physical demise. Now, that uh, uh, spark of life, spirit, uh, it gives the physical life life, but the physical life gives the spirit form. So, whether it's a, a tree, or a bird, or a person, that spirit is gaining back something. And within us, of course, the most evolved species, it's gaining, uh, you know, um, the physical form of, of what we are. Our spirit is taking our physical form because it's a etheric double of everything we are and it's gaining conscious existence as a human being so we take that on into the spirit realm now humans are the only ones that reincarnate animals do not no other plant life or anything reincarnates only wasps and mosquitoes that do not go into the spirit realm understandably because they're applied to all life just about with what they do that Father God decided that they'd have rebirth into another form or back into their same form. So I don't know which one it is, but, you know, they're the only ones that have rebirth. So that's the way it is. You know, it's simplistic, and that's the way Father God is. He works in a simplistic way that's always practical and everything else. So, no, there's not many reincarnated at this time. But if this world spiritually evolves and the spirit realm, the next plane spiritually evolves, then in the future there could be more reincarnated beings upon this world you know but do you look at the amount of people that turn around and say I'm not coming back here again and they mean it and they don't want to and they don't want to in spirit either but as they progress and evolve and then have the opportunity open to them to reincarnate they can maybe see some of the benefits of that but you know there's many even that evolve that do not reincarnate but it has its advantages so pre predestined life plan there's not much of it really other than what's natural events and what happens to us within the natures and world we live upon. So uh, the few that have got the hand of God, not many. Uh, I mean, there's only been maybe five or six of those that have been here, maybe a few more, but I don't know exactly how many. But, you know, they, they've had opportunities presented to them before God and they've either chose to take that opportunity or not take that opportunity, but most of them have because Father God pick the right person in the first place so yeah so there's a lot of superstitious uh, nonsense out there that you know a lot of mediums and psychics spread around you know like tears in the aura and I can stitch it up and all this stuff it's it needs to be you know the truth needs to be brought about spiritual abilities and awareness and such like so I mean that's the way it is so anyway I thank you for watching you can uh, click on the show more bar below to find uh, the website links, other links. And you can click on the uh, bubble in the top uh, right hand corner to go to the playlist to see more of these insight videos. And they talk about how God come about and how Christ and Citadel come about and such like. So I thank you for watching. Love and light. Shep.